share with you on the liberal oasis radio show good morning good morning good morning first week with president obama at the helm feels pretty good kind of stretch your legs a little bit take a deep breath uh i just came back from the inauguration itself in the nation's capital you could probably see me uh by the washington monument way in the back Waving my hand. Uh, people have asked, how was it? It was cold. Uh, and it really wasn't about, uh, you know, any individual's personal experience, quite frankly, because the personal experience is being out in the freezing cold uh, looking at a giant jumbotron. Uh, you probably had a more uh, emotional connection to it watching on TV, uh, ironically enough. But what was more important is what it means for Obama, what it means for our agenda, what it means for uh, the country to have uh, at least 1 million people, uh, the official estimates are 1.8 million, on the mall in the nation's capital, uh, giving a physical mandate if there wasn't mandate enough uh, with the election itself, to lend additional support to what I would argue is the most liberal inaugural address uh, in decades, it has a very powerful substantive result and impact. It is so much harder now to, and, you, and you're seeing conservatives try. They're trying to uh, whittle down the economic recovery plan. They're trying to poo-poo public investments. They're trying to jack up uh, corporate tax cuts. But it's so much harder for those arguments to have traction when you had at the on the Capitol steps Obama talking explicitly about what government must do talking explicitly about uh, the, the need for our government to create jobs, to uh, generate clean energy, to secure health care, uh, to make sure that everyone has a job, uh, not to mention the foreign policy side, to explicitly emphasize the importance of our values and ideals, to lead by example, not at the point of a gun, to tell other countries, if you unclench your fist, we will extend a hand. For the first time, uh, for an inaugural address, to even mention the words Muslim, to even mention the word non-believer, and as I learned from Mark Amberger, to even mention the word data. Three words never before uttered in an inaugural address. Uh, that has great weight. Uh, uh, one of the uh, bloggers at Huffington Post, Trita Parsi, who also heads the, if I remember the name correctly, it's the, it's the main uh, Iranian-American uh, association, he noted that uh, Obama's use of the phrase mutual respect when discussing our relationship with the Muslim world uh, has great uh, meaning to Iran. That is a phrase that they use a lot, what they demand from the rest of the world. So he uh, analyzed the speech as Obama sending a subtle message to Iran that I'm extending an open hand to you. And Trita Parsi then uh, said to Iran, you better step up. This is your moment to reposition yourself uh, and come to some common ground, greater understanding, uh, re-enter uh, the rest of the international community. 
So it was extremely important for me to be there because I felt that I was, in my very small way, uh, helping with that mandate. And now we quickly shift to getting the job done. Uh, we've seen Obama make great um, substantive slash symbolic acts, uh, renouncing torture, uh, starting with the process of closing Guantanamo Bay, uh, repealing uh, and the anti-abortion uh, gag rules that have deprived uh, federal funding uh, uh, to international organizations that provide abortions and uh, help uh, people across the globe have reproductive freedom. Uh, important uh, acts that make a clean break uh, between the past administration, uh, not only sending a signal domestically, but to the world. Uh, where American ideals uh, truly lie. 